Hello friends, my name is Nitish and in this video I am going to show you about quick actions. So what is quick actions? So let me show you that. So when you have an Android email looter or your Android app, when you will long press on that, you are going to get quick actions. So in the case of message, I get new conversation. So I got new conversation. So this is how it works. So I hope you got the idea about the quick action. So when you long press on your app, you get some suggestions. When you click on that, it opens that particular screen. So these are the those screens which are frequently visited. So here you can see I am having a home page, a help page with title help, a message page with title message. So we are having total three uh, page in total. So first of all, I will add this package called quick actions and this is by flutter.dev. So this is the official package. Uh, let's add it flutter pub git. Yeah, we have added it successfully. So first of all, uh, let's start this by making an instance of quick actions. So quick actions, uh, quick actions and quick actions. Okay. So the next step is to initialize it. So in the init state, we are going to initialize it. So first of all, I will call the quick actions dot initialize. So quick actions dot initialize is used. This is called whenever you tap on the quick actions like uh, menu or options. Uh, we will talk about that this later. So for now, just print the type. Uh, what is the value of that type? Because this is very important because I'm going to show you what is this type later on. Okay, so we have initialized the app. So whenever you will open the app using quick action, this initializer is being called, going to be called. So now there is a, a, a way of setting the shortcut items in quick action. So it accept list of list of shortcut icons. It means a array of shortcut icons so let's add a array, array so shortcut item so shortcut item so there is two required field type and localized text so localized text is uh, some kind of text which is going to be changed based on the user language or which uh, which is something which is going to be shown to the user and type is the something which is going to be unique throughout the uh, throughout the shortcut icon so if you are having a array of uh, array which contains three shortcut items then the type must be uh, the type string must be unique for all of these three in between all of these three so the first is going to be home second is for message and third is for the help so localized text is going to be home message and this is going to be help so for the message uh, for the type let's change it to the small like a smaller home smaller lowercase home message help because this is not something which is going to be shown to the user so that's why i change it to the lowercase uh, okay so let's restart the app and let's see if we are getting this suggestion or not like um, now whenever i will long press on the application uh, this application we must get home message help as the shortcut icon so our app is running so first of all we will minimize our app and then we will long press so let's click on the home button let's look for the app here is our app when we long press you can see uh, we got the option so let's bring it to the home screen now you see we have three options so whenever you will click on any of this before that let's open the debug console and clear this so i am going to click on the home so let's wait for some time yeah so you can see there is written type and home so if you remember this has been uh, printed uh, uh, from uh, initializer so if i click on something else i am going to get that type message so type message and this is a lower case so if you remember the lower case message is written in the type and this is going to be printed whenever the app is being opened using that shortcut icon 
so what i want to do whenever user will open that uh, based on the type i am going to navigate the user to that particular page so i have ma i have called a uh, navigate route method which is not defined yet so let's define it which is going to accept a string and this is going to be name name of our route or let's name it route anything and we are just going to do navigator navigator where is that yeah navigator dot push named okay and for the route name i am going to pass route whatever the route name will be and the return type is going to be void so uh, this is good we can make it a little bit shorter so let's copy this let's uh, remove this and let's pass the callback so this is now sort yeah sort end so now this is good uh, everything looks good to me now i want to navigate so how we can navigate so uh, we need to go to the main dot dot file and we need to define the routes so come here and define the routes so this is going to take a object and, uh, and this will have a key value pair mainly so the key is going to be uh, uh, for for every key there is going to be a corresponding widget builder and it will open that particular page so the slash is for home slash message is going to be for uh, message screen and the slash help is going to be help screen so now we have defined three different routes uh, why i am getting error okay 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 home equal equal to null or yeah so i need to remove this home and initial route is going to be slash so now this is awesome okay so we have defined so whenever uh, we will pass slash home slash message and slash help this value is going to be passed to the navigator route and the navigator route is going to let's make it home yeah and the navigator route is going to navigate uh, us to that particular page so this the value of type is going to be passed here so but i want to do one thing if user has pressed the home we need not to open the app uh, like we need not to move to some other screen so if route is not equal to no, no if route is equal equal to slash home it means we don't have to go anywhere we will just return return means we will just open the home screen and we will just stop there if user has pressed some other button then we will move to that uh, page using navigator dot post named so let's see if this is working or not and similarly this will work on ios also i have not tested on ios yet but i hope this is going to work so let's click on this help it should open help let's see if it work yeah it worked so you can see you can go back yeah you are at home so let's try for some other message so it worked yeah you can set icon also which i am not going to do you can read the